Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Let's do some makeup. Honestly, sometimes, you know, I just don't really be in the mood. I, it, I just don't be in the mood to do an intro. Honestly, I probably should be doing an intro every time because, you know, I'm not one of those people that, you know, people already just know who I am. But at the same time, you know what? You don't gotta know who I am. That's not what's important. What's important is the content, the makeup, the art, Vogue. Honestly, I don't know what look or color or anything that I'm going for or what I want to do. I more so want to test out a technique. So, I'm sure you guys have seen this like, I don't, I, guess, I don't know if you guys pay attention to technique and everything, but it's like pretty much all the rage now for people to like, you know, prep with concealer. They don't set the concealer, they go in right with the shadow. But also people make the prettiest gradients, like okay, so when I do my eyeshadow, I always like, start you know with the transition then do like a blendy shade and then go into the crease and then move like I work from top to bottom you know and make my gradient that way and layer the colors that way but what I've seen people do they start with like their crease and they build the color up in the crease and then they get like whatever drip shade they want to start gradiating into That's not a word, but it's okay. And then they start like to blend that out and then they do this. Anyways, I just, I wanna try it. So that's kind of the goal for today. I don't necessarily have a look in mind. Uh, we're gonna be using the James Charles palette. I don't know if I'm gonna use this strictly for the whole look, but that's what I'm gonna be starting with just because it's what I grabbed, so it's what I'm gonna use. I said that I wanted to use this shade Boutique, which I used in one of my other tutorials under the lash line or whatever, and it was such a beautiful shade. I said I wanted to try to use that next time, so I'm gonna go in with this shade Boutique. I don't know if I'm supposed to dab off the excess, because they really just go in like hella pigmented. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna like really like put it on there, you know? This like application technique though, it just like gives me anxiety, like, because I have a thing, like, I'm just, I, when I, okay, wow, Tyler, get your thoughts together. Five, six, seven, eight. When I used to do makeup, I would hate it all the time because I would always blend my eyeshadows up too far towards my eyebrow. And then, like, it would just ruin it having to, like, wipe it off with a makeup wipe and then reapply and reblend and everything like that. So I have a fear of blending my eyeshadows up too high. So, lately, what I've just been trying to do, that's why I like to, like, start on the outside because that'll be, like, as high as it goes. And then I work my way down. So, with this, it's like I'm starting in the middle and then pushing the middle up. And then, uh, I don't know. I hope you guys are, like, getting visuals of what I'm talking about while I'm describing this because it probably just sounds like... A bunch of bullshit. No, but I'm always down to learn like a new technique, a new a new way of doing things. Especially the result be looking so good. Honestly though, all tea, all shade. I was looking at makeup pictures today on Instagram, and I was just like, bitch, these people, these are pho like, no, and I don't mean like Photoshop, as in like smoothing the skin or erasing blemishes, filling wrinkles, things like that. I mean the shadow, the eyeshadow was like. Photoshop and I was just like so do you even still get credit for being a makeup artist people you know leaving comments under the look talking about like how good it is and how great their blending is and oh my god what shadows did you use it's so it's so vivid bitch like they literally went on their phone and like painted the eyeshadow on like I was looking and it's like you it, it you can tell it's shadow so under the eyeshadow there's still skin you still see a skin like texture but some of these people it just looks like they literally just airbrush or like you know their whole picture will be like in a certain tone but then their eyes are like more vivid than life like they're just like neon popping out the phone like you know damn well that that eyeshadow don't look like that in real life and I'll go straight to their stories like all right we'll post a video Post a video. Take the test. Take the test. But you're not gonna, you can't manipulate dip me because I can't be manipulated. dipped it. I honestly don't know what color to choose. Like what would go with like cranberry as far as a blend? I want to use this color here, like, but it's like a soft pink and that's not really gonna... Actually, that's exactly the color I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go in with my NYX uh, 17 brush and then I'm just gonna try to like soften the edges with that. I'm just trying my hardest not to buff this too far up to my eyebrow. Like I'm putting it on the first color and then I'm like circling just above the line so that you can start to see the second color. Yeah, this is just hard to explain. Y'all follow along, damn it. 
Look how ugly I'm holding my brush. <laughs> but I'm only doing that because you don't want to put so much pressure towards the front of your brush because then your like bristles aren't really like gliding over the surface. So I'm like trying to hold it towards the end. So like all of those bristles and it even just feels different. Like I can feel it scrubbing the shadow. I know you can see the difference. Look at before, after, before, after. Dare I say I just want to make it a little more like I'm just gonna do a tap of this burnt orange shade. I don't know what it's called and I really don't care. It's really not important. I want my crease to look inflamed is the goal here. We just, we, we're going for straight inflammation at this point. And see, now I'm at that borderline where I'm like, I'm getting too close to the brow. Get too close to the brow. Back up. Back up. Back up. This is giving very much like pepper spray realness. Like, Oh, I got pepper sprayed in my eyes. <laughs> my clickbait title is going to be, I pepper sprayed myself. And then everybody's going to be like, what the hell? Like, why? And then I'm going to get like, hella views. And then I'm going to get like, hella thumbs down. And then they're going to report my video. And I'm going to be in YouTube jail. And they're going to deactivate my account. And then I'm going to be depressed and die. So on second thought, let's not do that. And I'm out of, oh wait, there's one more. One more gold doubloon. Come out, ho. Come on. Oh, no. No. Ah! Precious jewel. Mmm. Fuck you, dog. I was just about to waste my last m &M. That was literally the last m, &M. I don't care if it fell in the toilet. That was going in my... Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. A makeup tutorial where I just don't do makeup. Like, I just stopped doing makeup and we just sit here and talk about how confused I am. We're gonna darken the outer corners, the inner and outer corner. Oh my God, and I have the perfect shade for it. So I have this shade and it's literally one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. So this is Damson. Wait, Deep Damson. Oh my God, the back, okay, anyways. So this is the shade, it's called Deep Damson. It looks, Honestly, it's almost comparable to the boutique shade, but as you can see deep damson is like a little more um Deep and like damson so I'm gonna use just a little bit of that the shade is so pretty and I'm gonna put that like It's just kind of deepen up the inner and outer corner Especially when you're doing something like monochromatic then you have to have dimension Otherwise, it's just all gonna like bleed into one color, you know? I think it's just safe to say that like I failed at the new makeup technique. Honestly, truly. I mean, we halfway succeeded. I didn't set my set my concealer on my lid with a powder or anything. And then I started in the crease and I blended out with another color, you know? But I didn't make like those flawless, beautiful rainbow sunset gradients that you be seeing on the gram and stuff like that. Like. Honestly, again, honestly, I think it is Photoshop. I think it is smoke and mirrors. I think it is tricks. I think it is scamming. I think it is Vogue. I really need to stop doing that. So now what I'm gonna do is go in with this um, shimmery burgundy shade right there. And honestly, I'm just gonna put that right on the finger. Ooh, it's soft. Right on the finger. No, I know you lying. Y'all, this light. Tried it. Ooh. Hi, I beat all you beauty gurus to the Valentine's Day makeup. I was the first one. First, first Valentine's Day makeup tutorial of the year. At me, girl. Oh well, you can't whoop me though. I beat you to it. So basically, anybody who makes a Valentine's Day red monochromatic tutorial is copying me. Because I was the first one to ever do it on the world ever in life. Ever. I do need to blend. Where's my... Where does this brush keep going? What the heck? Okay, the NYX number seven brush. It took me forever to find it. I found it and now it's gone again. Did it drop? I just wanna do the makeup tutorial. I just wanna finish my makeup. Anyways, I am just need to blend out this these little corners. And what, wait, what shadow did I use on this? I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, well I guess I'm just gonna end up using this Morphe 507 anyway. It's, it's clean. Um, I just need to like blend out this these parts here because it's looking very um rough. Okay, um, I am gonna put something under the eye. You know how I do. I'm sorry. I'm just like real like real disturbed that that makeup brush just disappeared. Like it's it's she's gone. Elvis, 
has left the building. You know what? That's the new name for that brush. So when y'all see me saying like, oh, I'm gonna use Elvis to blend, because I use the brush a lot in every tutorial. So if if he ever returns, um, that brush is gonna be called Elvis. I'm gonna go in with that boutique shade again. And as most of you guys know, I like to do under the eye, but just like half of the under eye. Let me go ahead, go ahead and do um, inner corner real quick. For that, I'm just gonna use this shade right here because it's bright, but it's also leaning on like, you know, the reddish or reddish or the redder side. Oh, so I'm just gonna dab that right in there. So that's the T on that. Honestly, I don't like the inner corner highlight. It's a little too bright. But once I put the liner on, it's gonna bring everything all together. So let me go ahead. I wasted enough time looking for Elvis. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my liner lashes and scare it and I'll be right back. Real quick, let's just go ahead and highlight the face. I'm gonna be using the Master Chrome in the Molten Rose Gold because, you know, we're going with like a little reddish, pinkish vibe, so we'll, we'll do very much that. I did go ahead and pick out some lip options that I wanna try. When it comes to me and like lipsticks, I'm so like, not adventurous. And it's so weird because I'm so comfortable wearing like my purple lip, visionary. This is my girl. Like, this will be like my everyday go to. Like, this is one of my favorite lip colors ever. But it's either purple or nude. I, I don't do reds. I don't like pinks. I don't even like corals. Oh, and then lately, I've been liking to like just get the tip of my brush and put it right in this. I don't know what that's called. The conch. I think that's called the conch because I think that's a piercing called the conch. But I like to put it like right in there because I like that to look like. I'm gonna use this liner. Um, this is a NYX liner and it is in the shade Vintage. Okay, so we got our Vintage on. Oh yeah, oh, I'm already gonna like this. I'm gonna like this. So I've had this NYX um, matte metallic and I swatched it here. I've had this for so long, but literally every time I put it on, I hate it. But it's literally the same exact shade in the same color as the shadow that I have on my lid. So I figured like, oh, it would match especially with a dark liner, but I don't wanna, okay, I'm just gonna put it on. I'm just, I'm just gonna try it, we're gonna put it on. Um, I'm actually living for this. Oh, I live. My other alternative, I was gonna put on just like a berry gloss. Anyways, let's give it a good once over with our Max Fix Plus. Did I say Max Fix Plus or Mac Fix Plus? Y'all, this video is just a mess. But this makeup ain't though. This is the final look. Go ahead and get into it. Honestly, honestly, I, I just feel like I failed at the whole makeup technique thing that I was trying to do. In a way, I kind of succeeded. You know, I started in the crease. I didn't set my, I, first of all, I started with concealer. Check. I didn't set my concealer. Check. I started, you know, very, very saturated in the crease. Check. I blended it out with another color. Check. Honestly, the only thing that I'm missing that you hoes are doing right now, nowadays, on the IG is the Photoshop. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment down below on what you would like to see here on this channel. And more importantly, go ahead and subscribe to said channel so you don't miss out on any more of this Tyler with the no goodness. And I will catch you all on my next video. Peace. You better. Oh, this is sickening. I should have did my makeup like this to BeautyCon. Oh, they could. They wouldn't have been able to take this makeup look for like lingerie. Like I could see Rihanna in this for Savage Fenty, serving very like vampire rabbit. Yes.